This is an image, and this is a gobo. So what is a gobo? It stands for go between optics, and it's placed in front of lights to cast cool shadows like this. They take your shots from lifeless to beautiful. So let's jump in, and I'll show you how to make your own. First, head to a free site like pexels.com. Search for window shadows or leaf shadows. Anything with strong shapes. Once you find one you like, save it, and then we will head to Photoshop. Create a new file, 2048 by 2048 pixels. Drop in your image and scale it to fit the square. Now add a threshold adjustment layer. Slide it left or right until you get strong black and white contrast. Too messy? Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur to soften the details. Once you're happy, save it as a PNG. Open Blender and make sure you're in Cycles. And this only works in Cycles. Quick tip, for faster optimized Cycles rendering, check out our Poly Render Pro add-on. Now add a plane to help catch the light, then add an area light above it. Go to the light settings, tick use nodes, and change the color to image texture. Open your gobo file and bam! Wait, nothing's happening? <laughs> There's one last step, set the spread to zero. Now scale up the light and increase the power to make the pattern visible. If it looks too sharp, just gently increase the spread to soften it. Want to make gobos even easier? Try Poly Studio Pro. With it enabled, I can hop into a new scene, right click, add pro area light, tab into edit mode, and adjust the angle directly in the viewport. Then I hit S to pull up my saved gobos and press G to toggle them on and off. It's that simple, fast, flexible, and organized. So that's it, from a photo to a pro lighting setup that makes your renders pop. Have fun, peace.